Big up Team Coppish. So, Carabao Cup, uh, Bournemouth versus Liverpool. The way the game went on, uh, Bournemouth had me worried. They looked like they were up for the fight. They really wanted to win this game. They had their players countering our attacks and, uh, you know, had a lot of bodies up front. But, you know, there were times we lost composure, I feel, during the game. But uh, our young defender, Kwanzaa, he did quite well. And uh, the only other thing I would say is the starting lineup had me think for a second, you know, what's going on with these guys uh, starting from the first team. Uh, but Klopp is taking the game serious. Klopp is taking this competition serious. So, you know, as long as we don't have any injuries, which hasn't happened yet, that is it. And, uh, you know, it's looking promising for us in these... Uh, you know, cup competitions, we are progressing quite well and uh, we are having good performances. Really good finish by Darwin Nunes, so shout out to Darwin. And uh, up next, we've got West Ham, which is going to be interesting since they just dumped out Arsenal. But hey, we are Liverpool and we can do the impossible. Yes, everyone, it's me, I'm Tommy Z, um, giving another wicked take on post Liverpool game. By the way, I'll try to make. Um, viewers review as much as I can whenever I'm free so um, yeah shout out to the other viewers who, who does um, I would say regularly um, they did their best <clears throat> sorry they did their best to voice out their opinions and everything all things Liverpool now heading into this game I thought Liverpool will um, have a major change in the lineup but when you think about it the time window we have between the Carabao Cup and the Luton on the weekend I suppose that's the reason why uh, Klopp gives minutes um, full 90 to Mo Salah and um, also he played Sobos Lai which in my opinion I would rather see um, someone rather than him probably Diogo Jota or yeah um, but then again I can understand why he does that because um, Klopp likes to give rhythm and he just don't want to leave out um, completely in terms of the um, you know runs run runs that we have game of the game because uh, games come thick and fast but Obviously, we have another international break, but he just want to keep that um, positive flow ongoing with, uh, with our um, cohesion and whatnot. So I get that. Um, into the game, Kelleher, I think he should have done better. But uh, yeah, not much to talk about him, but because um, he pulled out some decent saves so yeah um i, I would say he, he does really he, he fed really well Cody Gakpo, um yeah he's another one where uh, he featured in and out from the team but i really i'm really pleased and happy to see him score because um i would rather see fr our front five i, I don't think lucha is going to be back anytime soon but my thoughts and praise but having said that, our front five, I would rather see a different goal scorers uh, week in, week out, rather than seeing two out of five uh, scoring consistently uh, on a regular basis so that the opposition can't give that, um, can't predict who's the danger man, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, um, again, Darwin, speaking of front five, came on and scored a uh, cracking. That's a cracker in my opinion. What a way to finish the game with that winning goal. And uh, yeah, um, that's just it. On to the next game. Obviously we have West Ham. And then um, they has been kind, I would say, for us. Because our um, tribal rival, which is um, United, and then Arsenal got knocked out. And yeah, but I'm not going to take it lightly we have uh, West Ham as well in, in the competition we have 
Chelsea on paper. They're, yeah, I'm not gonna say much on Chelsea, but yeah, it's gonna be one of them will be well, Newcastle, who who's uh, who's another one, um, beat United, beat City, but yeah, um, it's gonna be an interesting, uh, you know, um, Carabao Cup, which which um, with the teams left. But yeah, that's just it. Another viewers take, the wicked take from M. Tomizi. Big up, you never walk alone.